invite our moderators Tanmay Bhatt and Sharan onto the stage. Hello Sharon, thank you so much for joining us and it's going to be a very intriguing session and waiting just for you. So ladies and gentlemen, handling fame and remaining humble, this being the topic, I want you all to please settle down, kindly settle down. We will share the video with you later but for now just enjoy the moment and let's just sit down and enjoy the session as well. Gentlemen, over to you. Thank you. Hi guys, is, uh, are we audible at the back? Everybody can hear us? My boy, how did you go to the stadium? How did you go to the stadium? Well, for me, initially I thought I was coming here. So, generally when you go for an event, something is going on in your mind, like this, that, that, that. I forgot one main thing. What? That here, 90% of people are with the mobile. Yes. Because everything for them is around the mobile phone. So, it's good to be here. Thanks for the welcome. इतने प्यार से इन्होंने वेलकम किया है, so I'm just hoping कि अभी जितना भी समय हम यहाँ बिताएंगे, it will be a lot of fun and you know we'll try to make the evening light and आप सब की खिचाई होगी, basically और कुछ नहीं होगा। Can everybody hear my boy all the way at the back as well? सबको सुनाएं, आवाज आ रही है? ठीक है। My boy सवाल जवाब पे हम आते हैं, पर सबसे पहले दो मिनट अगर हम क्रिकेट की बात करें तो क्या लग रहा ह� अभी हमने एक ad campaign भी किया है, so I don't want to jinx it by saying anything more, but भावनाओं को समझो and it's a very good team, बहुत अच्छा balance है team का, हर लोग अच्छा खेल रहे हैं, so everything is looking very good, so इससे ज़्यादा मैं कुछ नहीं बोलूँगा, बाकी समझदार को इशारा काफी है। तो माय भाई आज audience में बहुत सारे creators हैं, and I believe कि you know on some level being an athlete and being a creator, there are some parallels. So, today, I have discussed some questions that are related to your life, which is related to our creators. There are some questions. So, first of all, you are watching so much mobile phones. Okay? But, we have heard that it is very difficult to call you because you are not the most tech-savvy person. You don't have a phone, you don't have a WhatsApp. Does being disconnected help? I think it, it helps a lot and phone hai mere paas and the only time I really look for my phone is raat ko sone se pehle kyunki savere ka alarm lagana hota hai. So for me, my phone basically does the job of you know waking me up in the morning. Or Candy Crush. Candy Crush is on the iPad. Mujhe phone pe game khelna nahi pasand. Yen yaha pe kaafi gamers bhi hai. So phone me dikhta nahi hai. It's all too small. And I'm aging. So anyways, you know, jo bhi khelte itna chota ho jata hai ki dikhta nahi hai. Anyways, coming up, what was the question? I forgot the question. You like to be disconnected, does that help? Was that a conscious decision? Especially in our case, it helps in a big way because we are all humans. And when you are playing for India, and if you are a known personality, then everybody has an opinion about you. If you do anything, then you will have an opinion about it. Some people will say good, some people will say bad. And as humans, if you are too much connected to the social media or the mobile phone, you are spending a lot of time over there, you feel good and bad. Sometimes you know that there is no relevance of talking about it, but because we are humans, you still feel bad. So especially before big tournaments or when you are going through a lean patch, I always advise the youngsters, stay away from the mobile. In fact, if you want to watch the mobile, apart from you know how it is supposed to be used. Agar Instagram mein ho, Twitter mein ho, ya dusre social media sites mein ho, don't get into reading the comments. You have to realize a lot of people they comment for the sake of having fun. They also don't mean it, but it's fun for them. But when you are going through a lean patch, you know cricket mein ho ya life mein ho, everything starts to hurt. So anyways, you have so much pressure on yourself. You want to avoid any undue pressure. You know, these are things avoidable. If I don't read it, I won't be thinking about it. Anyways, what I have to sort out in life, I am thinking about it. I have close friends, I have parents, guardians, they will help me out. So that way it has really helped me and I always keep telling the youngsters, please, you know, the amount of minimal use will be so much. So, I wanted to ask something. So, before you retired, I am sure there was a lot of expectations on you in terms of performing in cricket and every day would have been really, really difficult in terms of dealing with the expectations. But now that you have retired, 
has one second retired from international cricket from yeah. Yeah. Ah. Point, point <laughs> to <be> noted, <laughs> bhai. hello 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 <laughs> they're just csk fan <laughs> Where's my wife? Good, good. How, how, how's the knee feeling? Uh, knee have survived, uh, survived the operation. So now going to the rehab patch yeah. and rehab exercises. Children, November the doctor ne bola tha you'll feel much better by November. But daily life mein aisa koi problem nahi. So retired from international cricket right. only. Please so continue. Retired from international cricket has uh, life uh, become easier in terms of the expectations and the pressure? Has life become easier in general? Well, you know, frankly, if you ask me. If you are a celebrity in India, if people look up to you, there's always certain amount of responsibility, roles that you are supposed to fulfill and that expectation is always there. Also, I'm only playing IPL, which means I'm actively playing cricket for two months in a year. In fact, it's slightly more difficult because I'm not playing throughout the year. So now my role and responsibility for CSK or towards cricket, I have to keep myself fit. Right. So I have to plan the whole year where, you know, what I need to do, when I need to do. I'm 42, running 43, which means I have to eat nicely. I can't just eat what I want to eat. You have to train because at the end of the day, nobody cares if you're 42, 45 or 50. If you're competing with people at the top level, you have to be at the same benchmark. You know what they are setting. They may be 20, they may be 15, they may be 17. So if you're competing with them, you know, you have to be like them. So there's no excuses for that. So that's one of the reasons I find it slightly more difficult. You know, you have to be very motivated. At the same time, your friends keep on complaining. You know, they'll be like, oh, we gave you a lot of time, you know, uh, now that you have retired from international cricket, you have to spend some time with us. You need to eat what we are eating and all of that. Right. So you have to balance it out. So that expectation level, that pressure is still there. Got it. My way, I would love to know I have to talk because a lot of people here run their own offices, a lot of them are entrepreneurs, they also have their own teams. When did you find out, what was the moment you found out you were going to be captain? And did you think of the moment you were captain like, okay, what am I going to be like in the dressing room? Because there's a new leader in the dressing room. So, when did you know when did you know? It's very interesting. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it was 2007 when our England tour was going on. So they made me the vice captain for the uh, limited over firm at ODI. Mein. And then when the seniors, they were not coming for the T20 World Cup, there were, you know, very good chances that they'll make me the captain. So it was a new thing for me, frankly, coming from Jharkhand, it was Bihar initially. I never thought I'll play for the country. You know, that was the first thing. So, you know, jab country khelne ka hi dream utna bada nahi hota hai, you cannot ever imagine even in your dreams ki you'll captain the side. So it was a surprise for me. I was happy, yes. But at the same time, I said, how should I look at it? So I looked at it as an added role and responsibility that was given to me. Not to forget, I had seniors who were part of the side from long before. You know, I was relatively new. 2004, December, I made my debut. So I was like, I'll just keep it as a role and a responsibility. I will never think about myself as a captain. I don't want to change myself in the dressing room. Yes, I have that responsibility of picking the 11, you know, on the field, I have to guide the fielders, take the bowling changes seriously and I just kept it to that. Outside the field, I never showed to anyone or told anyone, you know, that as if I am the captain of the side, you need to do this, you need to do that. Because when they are seniors in the side, you have to earn their respect. You know, that's one of the most important thing. If you are, if you are a leader, if you are a boss, you want to have the respect of the people you are leading or representing. So for me, that was my biggest challenge. Yeah. So uh, how do you actually keep calm and cool when the situation is so, it looks almost next to impossible. Like one of the uh, instances that I can think of is uh, the India versus Bangladesh match where they required one run in two balls, right? Two runs in three balls and we won the match. Like how do you kind of compose yourself in these sort of situations? Like are you really cool inside or is it just the, uh, you know, the exterior looks cool. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, it's a lot more fun because I can share my experience with you guys. And I'm, I've always been someone that believes in the process. You know, I'm not someone who looks at the results. So even in this scenario, I was never thinking, what if we lose the game? I was thinking, what can be done? You know, what should Hardik bowl? What is the field setting that, that I should have, you know, where 
whatever resources I have, what is the best way to make the most of the resources I have? You know, if I have half a glass of water, I don't think about the other half that is not there. So, at that point of time, I'm thinking, okay, this is the length we need to bowl. If you're going for a Yorker, what are the pros and cons? The only thing is, everything needs to happen very quickly. Hmm. So, you need to take the, I would say, a good decision at that point of time, because best decisions generally baad mein aate, you know, boardroom mein baithenge, aram se, sochenge, baat karenge, but a lot of times in cricket, you don't have the luxury of time. So we kept it simple, we are like, you know, this is the length that you should bowl and we'll take it from there, we'll take it one ball at a time and it worked, you know, at the end of the day it worked, but the thing is not to think about the result. Result is a, you know, whatever you do, the process you are following, the byproduct is the result. Mm. So if you, if you need to revisit, you revisit the process. Yeah. You know, result, it's, it's more like a learning, you know, it tells you what went wrong. So you take the learnings out of it. You don't carry that excess baggage on your head. Oh, I lost, this happened, that happened. No, it's all irrelevant. You lost, you accept that loss. And the only way to move forward is to take the learnings out of it. Mm. Speaking of learnings, my wife. Yes, yes. I always wondered, um, you know, you have the brand of being Captain Cool, right? So, when you feedback to a cricketer, how do you give feedback that you have to change? Karna hai? Like, was there a particular approach that was the most effective? Rahe? Like, in our environment, I always preferred one on one. Uh, if you see Indians, we are emotional people, you know. I know the whole world is turning and saying, you know, we need to be much more professional. But our strength is that emotion, you know, as simple as that. We are the only country that has maybe 10,000 patriotic songs. You know, for, we have songs, we have songs for our family, we have songs for wife, brother, sister, everything. So we run on emotion. So I always believe one-on-one -on -one works for a simple reason. Let's say if I'm addressing a team, let's say even in business, there are like 14, 15 people in a room. And if you point finger at someone, all of a sudden he feels bad about it. The thing is, he's not hearing or listening to what you are saying. He has just felt bad and he doesn't like it. So I always prefer talking one-on-one. One-on-one may ye hota hai ki, let's say if I say a sentence to him in front of 15 people, he will feel bad. If I take him to a side and maybe add a few more grammar or adjectives to it, you know, he will still be fine with it. So player ko kone mein leke jake, oh Shri, wahan pe girlfriend nahi hai teri, alag se bulte te. So that, these, these things so you can say on television also, you know, because, was, because basically what, what you mean is, everything is happening here, why are you looking on the other side? Hmm. So as you, simple as that. Do you remember any example of, you know, someone was having a tough time and you gave them some particular feedback that really helped them? Kuch, kuch yaad hai aapko? Koi specific player? Aisa, aisa kaafi baar hota hai, wo thoda uh, hanuman ki tarah hota hai, you know, jab Lanka jana tha, samundar ke upar se to, Hanuman ji always had that power in him, but mm. he was not aware about it. So, when you come to pressure situation, when you come to the pressure situation, you forget your strength, you know, you forget. Mm. You, you stop believing in yourself. Mm. So, others, your teammates are believing in you, but the first person that loses faith is you yourself, mm. you know, on the talent that you have. So, sometimes you have to say that, you know, this is your strength, you know, these are the places that we can work, but as of now, keep working on the strength that you have because your strength will get you out of the difficult situation. Hmm. So usually a lot of times what we have felt is even the time ko hum log gauge karte hai, bar aapko technical cheeze sahi karne ka time nahi hota hai. Hmm. So you say ki, leave that aside. What is more important right now is this man for me in the tournament. Hmm. So a lot of time you even give them false confidence. Hmm. Because it is important, a, a confident guy is much better than a talented guy who always keeps questioning himself. That's very true. Yeah. So, you know, again, again, what it depicts is you have to make the most of what you have. Hmm. So, we have a 15-member squad or a 16-member squad. Usme se player khelenge, usse hi hum jeet ke aage badenge. So, hmm. what's the best way in which we can perform to 80 or 90 percent of the potential that we have? Aap you have, of course, helped many players in their journey, my way. But as a leader, you know, you have to be strong. You have to not show your emotions. You have to, no matter what you have to do, you have a strong face. But how do you be vulnerable? Sometimes you have to help someone else. You know, were you able to be emotional in front of the other players? That Virat, I'm having trouble with this. Yeah, you know, I'm having trouble with this. Were you able to be vulnerable? Is that something that you ever did? No. 
irrespective of how strong you are, irrespective of whether you are a leader or not, there will be times when you will also feel the same kind of pressure. It's just that I'm not very good at expressing. I don't express my, I, I keep things to myself, you know, so that's how I deal with it. You know, the good thing with me is I try to be in the present. So once I'm inside, once I'm in the situation, I don't think too much about whether I'm in form or I'm out of form. For me, okay, what is needed? I bat at five, six or seven. What does the team need from me as of now? So once I start thinking about the process that I need to follow when I'm there, I don't have enough time to think about whether I'm in form, I'm not in form. Did I score match uh, runs in the last game? Whether this bowler got me out? So all these things become irrelevant. So again, you go back to the process, you have belief in yourself. Because cricket, mein form is a thing that no one has seen. You know, one person is out of three matches, four matches, and then he makes 100 runs. Out bana deta hai. So it's an abstract, form is an abstract. You know, it comes in 10 minutes, it goes in 10 minutes. So mm -hmm. we never know when that 10 minutes will come. So you have to be positive, you have to believe in the process, you have to be aware of the situation and that's what gets you out of trouble. This, you know, my, my father once told me this. He said, Ki, I, all, I asked him this one, saying, I wonder if, if Mahi Bhai feels vulnerable at some point. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, I would 100% agree, you know, but again, as I said, when you have that extra role and responsibility of taking care of everyone that is around you, you have to do whatever you have to do with your problems. And in a team sport, often, yes, the individual brilliance is there, but we rely on the team effort. Hmm. You know, so many times, because of help, karan, let's say, I am going through a path where I am not doing a good strike. You know, but run rate zyada hai. So, kai bar hota hai ki mera jo partner hoga, you know, whether it's a number four batsman or uh, two, three, jo bhi hoga, he gives me that few deliveries because he's scoring boundaries. Then mm -hmm. we are converting those one runs into two runs or two runs into three runs. Tho, those are the things that really help you. And same thing will happen to the other guy and that time I need to take that responsibility. And that's what the team sport is all about. That's what needs to be done, done in a team environment. And often we think that team, team hai to sport hota hai. No, it, it is applicable in business, it is applicable in a family because family may be a big team. Ho jate. So mm. you have to look at it in a way that you are very positive about it and you have to make the most of everybody who's around you. Mm. Sure. Yeah. So uh, most of my friends today who are in their 20s and 30s, they're very hungry for success. They want quick success. So as someone who has had such a fantastic career and has achieved so much in the eyes of the public, uh, does it feel like there is more to achieve? Is that hunger still alive? Or if not, what is important to you today in life? You know, right from the start, I was not into that people should remember me as a good cricketer. I always said, you know, I want to be remembered as a good human being. You know, and if you want to be a good human being, it's a process till you die. You know, so... So, so cricket to me is a part of life, you know. So, once I started playing serious cricket or once I started representing India, you'll play for India for... 10 years, 15 years, 5 years or 20 years. If you are, you know, if you start at an early age, maybe 20 years and beyond, but the whole thing is it is still part of life. If I consider I live for, let's say, 60 years or 70 years, it's one third of my life. Right. So you want your life to be productive. You know, what I, if I score run, I'm scoring runs for myself. But what is it I'm doing that I'm making it better for people who's around? You know, so I'm doing what I'm doing with my batsman, hai, you know, his life, on, in the crease becomes easy for him. So for me, every day is important. I, I try to be the best version of myself. And that's what keeps me going, you know, and that was as, is something that has kept me going for a very long time. And I don't think I'll change that perspective because cricket will end, whether mm. la, uh, next year becomes my last year or the year after that. But again, it will be a part of my life, you know, that will have a comma or a full stop, you know, but the life continues. My patch or sal, come se come. <laughs> <laughs> One year at a time. <laughs> One year at a time. <laughs> my brother, I want to ask a personal question because I have personal advice. Chahiye. So I am single, okay, and I feel like, you know, when, you're, when the rest of your life is so chaotic, having a partner who brings some sort of stability, that is very appealing to me now. That the rest of the world is so chaotic, so chaotic, so chaotic, at least home life is sorted. Do you remember how your life changed when you found some stability in a relationship in your personal life? Like, does, does, does it help? Does it help to have, you know... How many of you are married over here? 
I don't know. I ask this question and a lot of people laugh. You know, it's a serious question. How many <laughs> you are married? So that's one. Second, how many of you have a girlfriend who's steady and you think you'll get married somewhere in the future? Ye koi confess nahi karega. Isme my boy, apne how many of you have a girlfriend who will get married? Puch liya. To kisi ko commit nahi karna abhi. No. So the interesting thing is, it's how you look at it. You know, and I feel. As a man, the all the masala in our life comes from the wife. Mm. You know, she keeps our life going. Mm. You know, you may be the captain of the Indian cricket team or the ex-captain of the Indian cricket team. It hardly matters to them. <laughs> you, it's a grounding factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a place in the house, mm. and usually it's not your choice. आपको भी भेजती है धनिया लाने. That's what I said. You may be the captain. You may not be the captain. <laughs> And the best thing is, they will be like, "Sab kuch to tumhara chalta." Whatever you say gets done. Everything you want, you get it done. But the whole thing is, it's what they want that you are doing, and they make you feel you are doing it. <laughs> it's your decision. So if something goes wrong, which can, they're like, "Tumne decide kiya tha." Maine to pehle hi bola tha. So they also help us in a big way because life is chaotic, as you as you yourself said. Now imagine there's a trainer in the house that is training you how to control that chaos by creating chaos inside the house. <laughs> practice, eh? Practice. No, but but whatever said and done, uh, you know, we we all joke about it. That's a common thing. But they're the pillar of strength in in the family. Whether it's my wife or if I see my mom, you know, they are the ones who run the family. So I came from a middle class uh, background. So my father will give the salary. after that he doesn't ask her you know how you will run the family mm-hmm. she has a budget mm-hmm. and now she has to run for whatever 30 days or 31 days so they excellent at it you know ab bacche hain bacche ko chocolate khana hai aana usi paise se so they'll quickly reassign everything okay yeah this can be done so mm-hmm. i feel you know they are the ones that bring that comfort into our family they they you always fall back to them you can ask them anything often when i'm frustrated you know i take my frustration out on her Hmm. you know which is not a good thing and hmm. i have to eventually pay a heavy price hmm. <laughs> but that's how life is so you know if you find someone you know that you are really happy with you know please do get married jo yahan pe bachelors hain you know un aur jinki girlfriend hai unka ek misconception hota hai jo ki main clear karna chahunga by uh, ending this answer ye mat sochna meri wali alag hai <laughs> Speaking of, um, you know, आपने बजट कहा दैट रिमाइंड बी माई बाई इज दर वॉट इज योर रिलेशनशिप विद मनी एंड और बिकॉज एवरीबडी हियर राइट एज क्रिएटर्स इतना टॉपिक हो गया है कि इतना रेवेन्यू कमाना है इतना पैसा कमाना है मनी हैज बिकम द सेंटर पॉइंट फॉर सो मेनी ऑफ अस वॉज देर अ पॉइंट वेर यू केयर अबाउट मनी एंड और डू यू स्टिल केयर और वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप विद मनी यू नो मनी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ बट एट वट प्राइस so money also you know it it has an impact so we all want to make money so some for some of us we may think you know i want to earn money because i want to make the life of my parents comfortable for some they may think you know for for the siblings for some i want to make money because i want to make it comfortable for my children so till the perspective is like that and the way you make the money is right now i don't have any problem with it because different people get motivated with different things so some may say i have an car that cost 10 rupees but i want to upgrade to 25 rupees there is no harm in that it's how you want to make that money second is look to add money don't look to multiply money whenever there is multiplication there is always a problem so mm. try to add try to, if it's changing you as a human then it's not worth Fin it influencer sun rahe ho i'm right yeah stock stock wale bhi hai na ha ha stock wale kon kon hai रेवेन्यू बढ़ाओ मल्टीपल नहीं नहीं सा, सारे ने पुट पुट डाल के बैठे हैं सारे हंस रहे हैं हम हमारा पोर्टफोलियो दो दिन में आठ परसेंट नीचे चला गया ये खुश है एंड एंड दे आर द बेस्ट यू नो आई वॉच दैम ऑन टेलीविजन सिंस आई हैव अव स्टॉक्स एंड एवरीथिंग जितनी जल्दी ये पलटी होते हैं उतनी जल्दी तो हम पलटी नहीं होते हैं यू नो कि अब ये जो है ना निफ्टी साहब निफ्टी को तो यहाँ जाना ही है नाइनटीन 
थ्री हंड्रेड ये ब्रेक नहीं करेगा ऐसा वैसा अगले दिन ये वापस आए हैं हम अट्ठारह आठ सौ पे बैठे हुए हैं नो दे जस्ट अब तो ये नीचे जाने वाला है जी इट डजेंट है बॉटम एनी मोर सो या बट इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग यू नो बट लाइक नाउ डेज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू गाइज टू एजुकेट यू नो द कमिंग the new up i would say the newer generation because they want to invest in stocks what is the right way to do it again don't look to multiply multiplication karoge to problem hoga and interestingly now all the uh, business channels you keep saying you know 95% of the fno people you know they 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 undergo loss <laughs> but still people still invest people do it that's true wow well, we're going to take one last question from sharan and open it up to the audience so yeah. whoever has the mic just start identifying who you want to speak to sharan yeah. go for it so one last question uh so most of us when we look at a celebrity we feel like okay their life is perfect everything is going well happy life so i wanted to ask you uh is it i mean is there anything that's like bothering you in life any problems that you're facing like is life really perfect nee we the thing is we all have a set of problems you know we we all face different kind of problems for some it may be different from others it may be different but i feel problems are the real essence of life imagine if you have a life where everything is so smooth that once you get up in the morning you don't really have anything to look up to because everything is so smooth you know whether it's your business whether it's something or the other so for me you know when i was like covid times and all i had a lot of times my worry was you know i have to make that bike so once i've opened my bike and i don't know much about it then i'm like you know what what do i need to do for me that is trouble you know for me once i face time my daughter and she says you know uh, can you come tomorrow mm. that is a trouble you know when my father some 5 7 years back you know he was like you have played enough cricket you know leave it now there are others who will play mm. so now you know that different things that's problem for you yeah you know it's just that problems are important part of life because if they don't keep testing us you know it, we won't really improve so i feel if all of us need to have problem but there are certain people where their problems are much bigger than ours and if we are well to do you know we should try to take care of them try to do our best you know to guide them you know so that they have a life you know which is a bit more peaceful and where they are not worried about everything in life you know every day so that's what my view is about problems in life my bhai ne problem bataya na we nifty 8% gir raha hai to wo khush hain All right. Where are we taking questions from? Who has the mic? Yes. Yeah. First of all, let me thank the both of you for a very, very exciting session. A very, very fun session that was. Can we hear a round of applause? A bigger round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the charming, enigmatic, witty brand ambassador of Riggy, Mr. M S Dhoni. Big one, big one, big one. <laughs>